what is happening beautiful people we are silky and kieran and we're on a little break from our 10 year honeymoon road trip and today we are making our way from glasgow to belgium to see my family first time in two and a half years like so exciting we are going to be taking the Flix bus service from Glasgow to London and London to Belgium. And I think each bus was eighteen pounds. Eighteen pounds per person per bus. A total of seventy-two pounds for two people to get to Belgium from Glasgow. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Can you please help me die By the way, we got new shoes. <laughs> For the last year, I've been traveling in Crocs, believe me or not, only Crocs. Believe me or not. And I have done... Believe me or not. <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> believe it or not. I have been like everywhere with those Crocs. I went to volcanoes, to Bromo, to Egypt, to <sighs> lots of different Everything. places. And they were just amazing. But then uh, they got holes. And when we came home after our two and a half years on the road, his mom threw them out. So yep. we had to get new shoes. And this was our option. Love them. Okay, let's go. You don't want to miss a bus? Ugh. Our bus is in half an hour, so plenty of time. We still don't want to miss it. Yeah, it's freaking freezing in Scotland. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I think it's around maybe six degrees, which is not too bad because uh, last week or two weeks ago, we were in the river when it was two degrees and that was really, really cold. So if you haven't seen that vlog, make sure to check it out. And our bus has arrived. Wow, it looks like we've got a whole tour of the UK before we get to London. We're stopping everywhere. Got our bags out under the bus. Let's go on and get our seat. Oh, are we all the way in back? Yeah. <laughs> no way. I think, um, yeah, we're here 15 C. Okay, guys, I don't travel so well, but um, here we are, right at the back of the bus. My bag's a little bit too big, but I didn't want to put it underneath because it's got like camera stuff inside, so. At the moment, I'm not very comfortable. We have so much stuff, like random things, and there's not too much space. We'll get comfortable, don't worry. Yeah, we'll get comfortable. So much stuff, so little space. Okay, we're comfortable. Yes. Kind of. The backpack is between our legs, so which means we, yeah, our legs don't have so much space. But mm, we just want to sleep now. We leave at 7.30 and we arrive at 6 in the morning. Then we have two hours to change over to our next bus. So hopefully overnight we can sleep all night. We're gonna try, but let's see how so it goes. So we're gonna sleep on buses. No. I usually come quite quite fast. <laughs> <laughs> the bus is made do do quite comfy. Answer? This is something I remember what being in fixed buses. There's always someone on the phone for like the whole night. Anyway, so the bus is quite comfy. There's like a net to put some stuff in, yep. like your drinks, whatever. Yep. There's a little table and there's a USB plug for charging your phone. So that's really good. We also have some lights here above us and air conditioning, I think. And free Wi-Fi. That's always a good one. There's two flex buses. Okay, Wi-Fi works and seems to be pretty good right now. So we'll update you on that later in the journey. Could you please explain again what you spent the journey doing? <laughs> I've been watching reels just because there's nothing else to do. Kieran is too bored of me, so he's listening to podcasts. Oh. But yeah, I was watching reels just to find the best reels to send it to him so he at least only sees the quality reels and I just go through all the rest that is boring. That is love. Got one? Nope. On the coach, there's to be 
uh, no vaping and no alcohol. If it's found that you're drinking alcohol, you will be asked to leave the coach. Um, halfway up the coach and the staircase is the toilets. Um, the other thing is, um, when you're departing the coach, can you please dispose of your rubbish in the bags provided? Because there'll be other passengers coming on to accommodate your seats. Uh, the other thing is, with it being a night service, um, any phones or tablets, can you have your earphones in? Because you've got, um, it's obviously during the night and it's for um, other passengers who are might, maybe trying to have a bit of rest. Uh, so enjoy your journey. Thank you. We had the most wonderful nights. <laughs> we saw every hour. not sleep a bit. Nothing. I played games, listened to podcasts that I had downloaded in Soko, um, practiced. Yeah, what was that practice? Practiced becoming a contortionist. Exactly. I've been in every kind of position, but nothing worked. Yeah. Um, quite a restless night, but we are in London, cold, cold London, and oh, waiting oh. on our next bus, which should be in about one hour, and... Um, in two hours. It's now six, was it eight? Right with Nutella. Mm. <laughs> oh shit. People on Instagram tell us that uh, he looks like Aquaman. What do you guys think? Aquaman, the Spanish version. Aquaman. <laughs> Agua hombre. <laughs> Aquaman. What, what do you guys Just think? Just I mean, I think it's a huge compliment, but um, I think I need to work out a little bit. And this to guy's... become the Agua Man. Agua Hombre. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lady with four suitcases and Kieran offered her help. She was like, oh my god. She was like pushing two and then the other two and then the other two again. You're, You're a good boy. Me. I was laughing. You fell. Hey, fell for you. And the bus has arrived. Hopefully, taking us again. Okay, passport. Oh, ah. yeah. <laughs> It was so funny when he asked to see the passports. He literally just wanted to see the passport. If he didn't open the passports, he didn't take them. Oh, so it's like the passport. Okay, go. <laughs> you have a passport. Same. It is tiring. <laughs> oh, shit. It's gonna slap your face. <laughs> also, the Wi Fi on this bus for some reason doesn't work. The previous one had it. This one, same price, no Wi Fi. <laughs> I didn't sleep. I rested. One bus is okay, two buses is too much. We just checked our passports while we did the passport control and it was super easy. You just literally walk off the bus, go into a little building, they check your passport and voila. Yeah, I think now we're going to cross into France. I'm not sure if we're gonna take the boat or if we're gonna go on like a train that goes under the water, but I guess we'll see very, 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 very soon. So the first part was just checking out of the UK. And now we, we checked into France. Just checked into France. <laughs> and let's check back into the bus because it is cold outside. 
Lunch time. Hmm. We have found out it's the Euro Tunnel we're taking and we're just about to board the train. Such a cool thing, like driving a bus onto a train. We're going. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Listen carefully to the following safety information. And we are in France. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour tout le monde. Um, yeah, we have four hours left. We are ready to arrive. Mm -hmm. Tonight we're gonna sleep so good. Uh, they said it would be sunny today, but um, the weather is shite. <laughs> As yep. always. As always. You can definitely tell with a Belgium it is flat as Well, that's a little surprise. Uh, we're doing a little hour in Bruges. <laughs> as impossible, stopping for over an hour here. They're like, oh yeah, you can go out if you want. So yeah, we're gonna explore Bruges for like a little hour. All of Belgium smells like waffles. It does. <sighs> it smells amazing. <laughs> I have to be back in Belgium. This place is so picturesque. If I'm very honest, I'm, um, I'm from Ghent, so I'm like very much Ghent she is the best Bruges. city in Belgium. And I was like, no, Bruges is not nice. She always tells me this, always. But now that we're in Bruges, I'm like, okay, maybe I have to change my opinion because Bruges is really nice. It's, it's so beautiful. Queen. It's so beautiful. I like it. Yeah. I prefer it to Ghent. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think we we'll need to show to you that Ghent is better though. Oh, tell us ah. in the comments if you visited Belgium or you visited Ghent or you visited Bruges. If not, check Are out one of our person? next vlogs. I'm actually so Belgian, like, I was telling Kieran, like, walking here, I feel so at home. I'm like, yup, this is Belgium, this is me. Where are the fridges? Where are the waffles? <laughs> Well, welcome to the center of Bruges, guys. This is like the main street for all the shops. Um, it's such a different vibe from Glasgow. <laughs> you know, like, mm -hmm. sometimes I have this illusion in my head that um, every every big city is the same. We were just talking about our favorite cities, and I was saying one of my favorite cities is Bangkok. But, um, you know, every city does has its, have its own vibe and feeling, and even on the main shopping street, which is all the same shops as as Glasgow has. A bit more beautiful. This one has more beautiful ones, and it also has more small retailers and stuff. I like it. It feels so yeah. much more homely and more quaint, like a yeah. village. Every step I take, my nose is going. Things smell so good, and we don't want to get anything because we're going to be going back to see Silk's parents for the first time in how long? Two and a half years. <laughs> yep. And um. We don't want to get ourselves full or anything before, um, you in know, case there is in some case they food. make dinner or something. So, oh my God, my nostrils are full. <laughs> that oh. feels nice to be back. This, I like it. Better than being on a bus. Maybe we can move to Belgium. How cool is that? I want to ride that bike up there. We are back at the bus because it's going to be leaving soon, and the last stop of today is where? Gens. And who are we going to see again? A family! And how long has it been since the last time you saw Two and a half years, wow. if I haven't told you yet, that's I don't think a you long time. That. that is a long time. <laughs> 10 minutes, maybe? It says we're going to arrive at 18 past, which is in 10 minutes. No, it's too early now. <laughs> we have arrived! <laughs> I can see my brother already, he's standing there. And then my my dad is in the car, he was actually just in front of us. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Hello, how's it going? Good man. Good feeling. How long is it going? I'm going to grab the bag. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Happy life. Happy. Happy. <laughs>
Evet, işte ekonomi kreşi gibi. Biraz da bir yavuz kere. Keble. Allah'ım and so good to be back home and uh, yeah bakery stuff I've missed this is home so for much <laughs> it's not true but uh, yeah mm. if you enjoyed this vlog please like subscribe turn on the notification bell all of that good stuff and we will see your beautiful sweet faces on the next adventure <laughs> bye <laughs>